Good Friday morning slash afternoon. I mean, it's basically on the cusp of brunch time and lunch time. I mean, it's nearly noon, so we're gonna say afternoon. Welcome back to some more Slay Aspire. Bonus run we did yesterday nearly won. I lost at the end. Uh, what I thought was, you know, nothing I could do sort of situation. It was a nothing I could do sort of situation. Uh, absolutely wrong, because a little bit of feedback here from J1. Could have hologrammed all for one and I would have won. I went back and watched the recording. Yikes, he's right. Uh, that hurts, but it was still a very good run. Like I've never seen a claw deck pop up so hard. No guarantee we're gonna get the exact same type of deck here today. Let me just make sure my screen region's properly adjusted. That's that's the wrong thing. Game capture. Ooh, there we go. All right, it's good. Sounds on. You know, the uh, hats off. Let's do this. I don't. I don't know. Thumbs up, Chump. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. All right. What do we want to start with here? I don't want to reduce my max HP. That sounds like a bad idea. Removing a singular card from the deck. Let's go ahead and do that. Gives us some options. Could make it a claw deck. Could make it a lightning deck. Could make it a crawdad. Crawdad fish sounds delicious. Man, Louisiana is an interesting place. Is it crawdad fish? I forget the fish that like was like considered like you know, poor person's fish in Louisiana. Until, like, you know, Commander's Palace, one of the chefs made it, like, really, really popular. And then everyone's like, oh, we can't get that. Gotta get that fish. And then all of a sudden, it's, like, really expensive. So, you know. Put the world on your head there. What do we got? Two fireplaces, three fireplaces, one elite. I like that idea. No shop, so we really limit ourselves. I do want to hit a shop first. So let's go for this one. We'll pivot into the fireplace on the side there. A few less question marks by doing this, but... I think and the new meta I've established is... Chop early game is good. Uh, why is it good? You get like a handful of cards you can't pick from, and you know if you're trying to morph your deck into a particular type of uh, you know piece, it's worth it to actually get the uh, extra cards that um you know you might be able to use. So loop out the gate. Man, I mean like eh, it makes it sort of solidifies this lightning deck. It's not that strong though. Self repair has its merits. Doesn't really help you on a boss fight, but it does help you get to a boss fight. I'm going to take loop, because if we can squeeze out some upgrades for that, that's a lot of extra passive lightning damage. And I guess, you know, with that in mind, maybe we have a lightning deck on our hands here. Uh, things that can help me make a lightning deck work. More lightning. Definitely is in the cards there. A skim sunny gym. For a deck this thin. Pretty good. If you get some extra energy... This becomes even better. So once we get an energy relic, that's going to be a huge draw option for us. A huge one. Right now, we're just going to go ahead and block it up. Uh, mitigate that damage here. I wanted to play loop, but it's not worth taking 12 raw. You wouldn't do anything raw, would you? No, you would never do anything raw. You would take any sort of, like, you know, defensive means, any protection, protect yourself. Uh, and charge battery, extra energy, a little bit of block. I'm okay with that. Just okay, I'm not ecstatic because, you know, thickens up the deck just a little bit. And this actually is not that great either. Alright, just kidding. It's perfectly fine. We'll do it like this. We'll get some passive lightning orbs out here in a second, because once we play Ball of Lightning, we should be good to go here for the passive damage. Yeah, we're more than good. So this is going to strike twice. Very good. Uh, there's a claw, so if we wanted to, we could pivot her right now. It's still early in the deck's lifespan. I could go for it, but I don't know if it's choice today. I mean, it is like one of the big go-to decks. I'm gonna say no for this run here. Let's stick to the lightning deck, make it a Thunderlord deck, all right? We'll get some uh, static discharges and we'll be ecstatic with the, the few things we have. And we'll go ahead and get a full suite of lightning out if we can. The loop's showing up a little too early. The deck's thin enough so it's not unexpected that that happens. But it is showing up just, just barely too early for me to really utilize. I'll take two damage here. Two damage to do 16. That's fine by me. We draw one more of those uh, evokes there and we'll be in the driver's seat. 6, 12. 18. Very good, nice and easy. Focus potion, yes, pleasey. Never say that again. There's that discharge. 
That's good. So that's actually the big one we want to upgrade is to add Discharge. Keep herself at a high uh, health economy so we can get some massive evokes going on. A little bit more focus will go a long way here, both in the game and for my life. Like them both. Uh, and a cur the curse is just awful, but this event is not something you'll want to see right here. This is this is now this is like going to like a fast food or like a drive-in through like McDonald's. It's like oh, it'll be real ba be right back, guys. Gonna go get a quick uh, you know double cheeseburger from McDonald's, and then all of a sudden you're gonna be waiting in line for an hour. And by line, I mean the drive-through for a legit hour. Hey, this is a very specific story, Tim. What are you talking about? Trust me. McDonald's near my house. I haven't gone to in years ever since this incident where it was like legitimately 12:30 in the morning. Uh, I was like still in college, and it was like a winter break or summer break, I think. I'm like, hey, yeah. I'll be right back, guys. I'm just gonna get some, like, you know, some garbage food real quick. Just a little bit. I'm feeling hungry. Don't come back till, like, freaking 1.30, 1.45 in the morning. It was like, what happened? The fact that they're still awake was a surprise itself, but it's like... What happened? Well... The thing called inefficiency in the world. McDonald's in my house just happened to be that. I think we need to pop this here if we want to survive. And I think we're actually gonna block and take the, uh, three damage here instead. So why are we popping the potion there? Once we get our orbs out on the table, that passive damage is going to be huge. So very good turn here for me. We can go wham. Bam. I'm going to play this. I don't care if I take 6 damage here. It's probably going to be more worthwhile to get all this extra passive damage out. Very good. Let's see if I can get 2 blocks. Okay. Okay. I could do 22 damage. I could mitigate half the damage here. Might take a lot more from this guy popping. And we're like shooting for the moon if we think this guy's gonna pop for us. So let's do the double block. That's sort of what I fished these out for here. I'll take... Ugh, shit. Also the reality there. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of ways to freaking uh, Rubik's Cube that one. I clearly did not do it the right way. So, unfortunate. It lost a lot of HP when you get the freaking odd mushroom. When you're vulnerable, take 25% more. Oh, rather than 50. So that's actually really good to get. It's just, you know, my fucking life is in shambles right now. Uh, stack is not the card we want for this deck. A white noise, one stop, one shop. Let's grab it. And let's rest, because if we're going to take on that elite there, for the extra relic, we're going to want it. Mercury's Hourglass? Hey, every little bit helps, dude. That's like your investment account there. It's like, and you're only putting in like $100 every month. That's $100 more that you didn't have before. Woo! Who wants a good decay in their deck? Mm-hmm. Boy, howdy, I know I do. I like myself a good decay. Jesus. Okay. Play this. Play this. Hit this. I, I don't care if the two damage was taken there. We need to do the rawest of damages right now. Creative AI might actually pop off to an insane degree. Yeah, I'm gonna block. I'm gonna get a lightning channel out of this for 13, but I'm gonna fucking block that. Are you out of your goddamn rocker? And we're gonna do this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bam. 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 Yeah, I'm taking 22. I'm also going to evoke some damage here, and this guy's now dead. This fight cost me way more HP than I would have liked, and we got Aura Calcum out of it. A leap is exactly what I was looking for. I wish this wasn't combat, because I don't want any more combat right now. Okay. We can persevere for the most part here. Stop this. I was going to take on the other elite here because I feel like I needed to do that to, you know, get the run off the ground. All of a sudden, this guy's making that just a very infeasible option. 3, 6, 9, damn you, fine. Not going to get a kill with that, though. Play creative AI, it's free. Okay, he'll be dead this turn. Excellent. Let's go, lightning strike. You're dead. Do you still take on an elite with this much HP? I think the answer is very clearly no. Like, why would you? I will take a hologram. I've come to learn to appreciate the hologram into leap combo for, like, some serious blocks. So you upgrade both. That becomes 5. That becomes 12. That's 17 block for 2. In some cases, you can play this twice so you can get some really good block value defensively from that last run. That's what I've learned. I will actually take on the elite here. I'm going to push my luck here. It's Lava Ghoulin. Not the, the best boy I wanted to fight. 
Once we get enough lighting out, though, we'll be good to go. Alright. That's as good as it's gonna get for now. So we will get six armor every turn for free, so if we don't have the means to get more than six armor from block, we don't have to play it. I think this- oh my god, I'm gonna get dropped so fucking low, though. Still, let's shoot for the moon here. It's a very risky decision. We just need to survive this. Is Leap in there? Leap is not in there. We need to get a kill, then. Oh, evoke. Hologram. Evoke. Good. <laughs> Good. Glad we took some time there to realize that we had other options. None of these cards help the current deck. A beam cell might when we get like a, you know, the big Thunderlord finisher card. You know, the one, the, the, the yellow one that strikes him for each lightning you evoke. You know the card I'm talking about. Beam cell is a dime a dozen though. We can get that whenever. Although it costs zero now, so like very little harm in just grabbing it for the moment. Rest up. 20 HP, Runic Dodecahedron is the item we got out of that fight, which means it's basically useless and was a waste of our time. There was no basically, it was a waste of our time. Alright, how much damage are you doing here? 18? Yeah. I could take two of that for some channeling. Go right ahead. Oh. A lot more than I thought. Okay. Block, block, beam cell blast. Okay. Yeah, so his multi attacks are really great. Like, anytime he wants to do a double like this one, I might let him hit me for just a little bit. Because that's a lot of damage back on him. So, yeah, we'll do it like this, hilariously enough. I'm playing with fire by doing this, but that's a, like it's it's a lot of damage getting evoked. So it is uh, helping out a great deal. And you have turns where you're gonna take damage no matter what, so maybe you need to rethink your strategy there. Not worth to take damage on turns like that. Okay, let's go. Dual cast, ball of lightning, extra energy for next turn, so we can play. I don't know something extra. 18 damage. No, thank you. Do it like that. And I think this one, we might let him hit us. Let's see what we get first. Yeah, we'll let him hit us a little bit. So we'll block twice, because this is going to drop us down to 8. So we'll block once, then we'll drop down to 4. Yeah. It's a dangerous game. A very dangerous game, but we have him now because of it. Need to hit him once. Good. Smart use of our electrical powers. Speed potion for different situations. Bias cognition. If we can get artifacts, this will be good. I will take it because there are some cases where it's at the end of the fight you'll want to play it anyway. More than likely not going to be our go-to. The cage. Despite all my rage, I'm still just... Or getting extra NRG. Give me the extra NRG right now. People's champ. Alright, flex on him, boys. We'll take this Chad down in no time flat. Do need some more focus to make it happen, though. Uh, and if we hit this shop, we have to fight the elites. I mean, we have to fight an elite no matter what, so... Let's ride the mystery machine. Only one bit of combat, so for the most part, it should go pretty well. Yeah, maybe. Go pretty well. And I could play Bias Cognition at the start to get this up to seven, so we really start striking some of these boyos down. I think in a race against time, for this fight in particular, let's do just that. So this striking for seven is huge. I'm not going to strike for seven forever, so if we get some more lightning out, like immediately that'd be great hell even evoking this right now would be huge nearly killed one all right bad turn for damage 
everyone should perish here. They, they should. Let's take you. I can't. That was a very fortunate draw. Cool. Still, we lost most of our HP there. It's bound to happen with runs like that. Capacitor is needed. Aberration is actually a solid get for this exact deck. I've come to appreciate that event a lot more. I feel very confident taking on these elites now. And there's a second claw we would have gone for this deck, so we made the right choice on pivoting there. Upgrade two skills. You know what? I mean, the Aberration is getting upgraded. is also not a bad idea. Random color of this card, also fine. Not great, just fine. Go ahead and give me that. It hit an Aberration in the Leap. Give me another Leap. And get me another Thinned Out Strike. Because we don't need those weak arms anymore. No elbows here. Shame. Eww. I should have gotten rid of my freaking curse, actually. That would have been smart. <laughs> Oh yeah, we have a curse in our deck. Why why get rid of a fucking card that can do six damage when we can hang on to a card that makes our life harder? Gene learning is decent. Losing one aberration already, not great. Uh two aberrations out the gate. Pretty good. You wanna buy his cognition for this? Do ya? Do you really? I think, yeah. And we're only taking one damage. Extra striking power on the current orbs we have? Yes, sir. Keep that train going. Definitely evoke here. That's huge. And he's toast. Power of aberration and a little bit of energy goes a long way. Consume. Like, uh, mm. More potent lightning strikes. I'm gonna take it. I I need to actually figure out where like where consume lies on like the how good is it scale. This is a terrible opener. Do you play folk bias cognition this early? Let's go for it. We're taking like you know a boatload of damage here, so these are gonna get channeled very quickly. Every time we get hit, we're going to get lots of value out. Let's keep up the damage. Maybe we want to keep these guys around. They want to hit me for that much. I think that's fine. Especially if we can do it like that. Then we go like this. Like that. And then like, I can't play that, Tim. Okay. We wanted them to hit us. I want them to hit us for like one a piece. So this turn, if we can get a apparition, that's perfectly fine. No, it's not, because the Aura Calcum is gonna block everything. So we'll play this so we can actually get hit at least once. I didn't get hit at all. Oh Jesus. Defrag, thank you. Lightning, lightning. Uh, I need to let them hit us, because I need the extra lightning. Okay. We're good, we're good. Ooh, that lightning might not strike the target we need it to. God damn it. May as well get the extra energy. So Aura Calcum has a little bit of a dis energy here when I want to take damage. Realizing that now kind of sucks. So all we gotta do is just hit this guy, so. Grateful we made it out of that one. Very controlled fight. Mummified hand is good. And there's an upgraded claw. So now it's like, hey, claw maybe would have been a good choice. Maybe, but like, you'll, you never know those things going into it, right? You never do. Let's rest. Why are we resting? Because I'm pushing the agenda here. Let's take on the other elite immediately. It's three musketeers and we got sag discharge out the gate. That's great. Let's block. And let's channel two lightning immediately. I'm dead. That was very foolish. Yeah, why don't you just... 
That was that was extremely dumb. That was not a throw. That was not a throw. Despite how much it's like, hey, you clearly don't can't take enough damage. You'll know when I'm throwing it. I'll, you'll see her like the lackadaisical attitude in my voice. That was me being an actual fucking moron. Uh, so I do apologize. Let's start over. Lose all gold, remove two cards. Really throwing it all to chance there. Obtain a random card, also throwing a chance there. Sure. Remove two strikes. Let's go for a defensive lightning deck again, potentially, and or a claw pivot if possible. Uh, because we did that, we don't want that shop early anymore. That seems like a big old waste of time. We'll take on this elite here because look at the fucking layout. Should look at the layout first before I did that. We'll take on this fire, this elite, into this fire. Maybe this shop. Maybe that shop. Or maybe we'll just take on... I mean, this is the safe path. There's no elites. This is a really bad first floor layout. Thanks, game. I appreciate a, a bad first floor layout every now and then. You know, keeps us on our toes, keeps us fresh. Ooh, yeah, we're gonna triple block this one. No need messing around with this guy. Toasted. Okay. Out the gate we have Bullseye. 50% more damage from orbs. Right now, that's like pretty meaningless. All right, here we go. Well, all your fucking study, guys. This is an open book test. You guys remember those from high school and college? Fire logs. It's just, you know, the open book here is just like a general opinion. There's no definitive fact for anything I'm looking up on spire logs. It's just like, give me an opinion. Which is basically what people do whenever they did open book tests, because they always would like, you know, open a one page and be like, yeah, yeah, okay. It says, you know, the fifth level of business uh, for international uh, scaling is, you know, insert paragraph here, potentially, right? It's got like a big, like in big asterisk, like this is just an opinion of some experts. Okay, that's the answer. Scribble it down on the paper. No, what do you mean I got it wrong? Well, it's because you fucking wrote down an opinion, you ding dong. Also, stop tapping me on the shoulder for help during the test. I don't want to get the friggin' expelled. You crazy? What am I looking up? Bullseye. Boop, 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 boop. In the 20% for a uh, win rate. 20% ish. What, what is the best card just in general? Force field? Crazy. Wait, aggregate's actually up there as well? This is why I sort of take these things for like, a, you know, the grain of salt. I do like this utility, but. Huh. I like it as a utility. I don't like going all the way. Because I still have my opinion at the end of the day. And I look at that bullseye, I'm like, it, it'll help out the deck, but I don't really like it. It's 8 damage, though. I guess you can consider it a piece of a puzzle, but as it stands, it's just not something that really excites me. Three clicks, two clicks. Emotion chip, huge. So we sort of want to build our deck around what we've been given here by the great grace of the game. And every time you lose HP, you'll trigger a orb you have, so no sense in evoking that. Would do more damage, but let's go ahead and just get some extra damage out from the passive here. Bullseye, block, block. Okay. It's a marginal increase in damage. We got two extra out of the uh, current bullseye line up there. Block, block again. And then we finish you off here with the bullseye. Very good. Just as soon as I was shit-talking the card, it has proven it's like minor advances are very nice. Self-repair is good here. So if we go for another deck that we just had, the self-repair is good for sustain. So that way when we take like any damage, we'll guarantee get seven of the back as long as we don't hit zero. You can't get back from zero. It's like bankruptcy, sort of. Self-repair, a bullseye. If I have, if I double evoke, how much damage would that be? A lot. Oh man, hang on. All right, I have misunderstood. There's a very good combo there with bullseye. I apologize to this card that has no feelings and to anyone who was offended that I thought bullseye was bad. It, I take it back. A good boy. White noise, random power for one. Lots of good powers for the defect. I'll take it. Eh, debatably, if that was great. I'm about to take a lot of damage here if I don't, like, do something. So let's go ahead and do this. Fucking hilarious. I should have done that first. Oy, okay, draw more cards, I guess. And then block. Yikes, indeed. The bullseye will dual cast. Good. Like, went right through the armor. We're healing up for seven. I went through my potion already. Got, like, very little value out of it, but... You know. Them's the breaks. Let's go ahead and block this all away. 
Can you stop spamming out damage at 11? More damage at 11, Ted. Thank you. Opportunity, yes. That should get a kill, actually. Perfect. Okay, Tempest. That's the name of the game, really. Yeah. So now we just need to get our stat discharge and or the other, uh, you know, go lightning cards and we'll be sitting happy. Tempted to upgrade this. I think I will. Because we're going to take just a hell of a beating on the way to the end here. Fucking hell. Why you? Why you, of all people? Didn't get any of my uh, extra lightning orbs out on that turn either. Yeesh. Hold off, because we're going to do it on the next turn. Just a lot of pain coming out. And Tempest, 18 damage. We got 9 on the cap, though. A 9 on tap, I should say. Bullseye is huge. Lock-on is going to help out a great deal. Let's mitigate on this turn. Take a little bit less, because that's some huge damage. And you're done. Okay, we're alive. And again, the upgrade on that uh, healing card, very worthwhile. Stop showing me Claw, you're making me feel bad. Take it, take the claw. No, I don't want the claw. I also don't want to fight this combat here, but I don't want to burn wing boots this early. Three worms, we can handle three worms. Especially if we get a little bit of healing like that. Eyes cognition, huh? All right. We're on death's door again for this play. We will heal for 10. I think this kills everyone. Yeah. Very good. Alright, heal for 10. Wonderful. Uh, stack? I don't know. I think we'll take it. The deck's gonna get very thick, so... Messing around with this is fine. Why do we get plus one strength to that? Oh, because we start off with a curse, naturally. Alright, get your HP back up to something humane. You can shop now, or you can upgrade cards you have. What does the upgrade on this do? Mm, just plus one. What does the upgrade on this do? Two turns of lock-on seems like a good use of my time now. Because I realize the potential of, you know, evoking for damage, it's pretty big. And is that only for lightning orbs? Any orbs targeted? Dude, I want to get a Shadowed Lord deck going with one of those. Uh, stick on the path here. Do not venture off the beaten path. Do not pass go, do not collect $200. Start off with that. Oh, do an early evoke. That's pretty, pretty good for the opener. Not happy with the damage I'm taking, but when am I ever? Um, let's guarantee kill him, please. Good enough for me. And then Tempest will finish you off. Good. Got some healing out of that one. Power potions back. Solid block with leap. 37 HP against Slime Lord could be better. I'm actually gonna heal again because I want to take on another elite. I have very little fear right now. This is a perfectly fine fight for me. Self repair, white noise, capacitor block. I'll go ahead and play one of these as well. Again, you should play Storm first, Tim, but that's okay because you have small brain. Go ahead and give me the loop or the defrag. Give me the defrag. Oh my God! I nearly ended my turn. We're going defrag because I can get the rest of these filled up really quickly with the Tempest. I'll take a lot of damage in the process, if that's what I have to do, but it'll be worthwhile. And in fact, we should evoke these whenever we get them. That's the big damage. Oh, Bullseye gets negated because of the freaking artifact, actually. God damn it, game. You've won up me for the last time. Alright. Ten more damage for me, but we got, what, 16 popping out each turn? Collectively, like, that's enough for three turns of uh, damage here that will eventually wipe the floor with them. That, I could just kill you outright. The chance of killing you outright, though, I'm going to go for it. Nice. Risky game. Paid off. Yeah. Definitely worth our time. HP is still looking fine. Numchucks. Ugh. Doesn't actually make me feel any better. It's kind of just like, well, there you go. 
Uh, go for the eyes would be useful on Slime Lord. Needs to be upgraded to be very useful, though. And there are other things we would like to upgrade instead, like... Zap being free. Dual cast being free. It's still nice to have on those turns where you need to block and you draw it and they're doing like this really nasty attack. I'll go ahead and grab it and you know what? Crazy me will upgrade it as well. Two turns a week against this boss in particular. Not great. Against other bosses, it's good. Some forethought here. Some foresight. Got that third eye on my forehead here like I'm, I don't know, TN from Dragon Ball. This will work. Also white noise. Bias cognition this early. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, I accept. Especially with the bullseye on top right now. So this is exactly why I did that, so I can take this damage to the face for the most part. Block. Block. Should have drank this first. Could have done a big multicast. Let's go ahead and do a rainbow then. So we can get him a little bit lower. That was fine. 43 apiece. Okay with me. We're gonna dual cast that. Get that on the table. Hit you. Good. Doesn't split him either. Push this orb to the front very, very quickly. Thank you, Lightning. Okay, again, need to get this on the front here, because that's going to be our big hitter. Our big hitter. Did not hit her. Okay. Blockpocalypse. Orbs are dying. We need to get some pushing action going on here. There we go. It's actually not that great of a move. It only kills the little guys. Still worth our time. Only two guys left at 11 HP. Good job. It's the power of that uh, third eye on my head, just like TN, right? Everyone's favorite Dragon Ball character, TN. Hmm. So if you guys are at zero, I don't think you're going to do any damage to this guy. Call me crazy. Oh. Still hit him. For a little bit. And then, yeah, like, Nunchucks pops off of that. It's like, is it worth, you know, not popping Nunchucks for the extra damage, like, three damage there? The answer is yes. It's just, he's... Gotta really find the openings for that. Amplify might be our best bet. And... Oop. But Doing's going off here. Gotta just do a quick moot there. Quick moot, quick moot. Wucha. Gonna type an Ulu to that and let's move on. Uh, curse Key for extra energy is looking like the choice. Tiny House, I do appreciate it. The healing, the one card, the upgrade, all very solid. Like three things in one that you would love to have at like a campfire event, like a super campfire event maybe. Don't think it's in the cards for us. Uh, we need to hit this shop, so we're going to take the safe path here. Two fireplaces, shop. There's no more fireplaces after that, but like look at the other options here. It was just fucked from the get-go, I guess. Let's get moving out. Good turn for that. Great turn to block all the damage and then tempest him up. All right, all the orbs are on the table. Let's see if we can get the bullseye out here. No bullseye. This kind of sucks because now anytime we want to play those seal cards, he's going to make her deck a little bit worse. Oh, wait a minute. That was an insanely good combo. It's very luck based too, but yes please. A second Tempest. Really need to get that rare card now that uh, gives us damage for Lightning Evoked. It's gonna be huh huge. Like 22 damage doesn't make me feel good either, but like this is the best damage. I can mitigate a little bit. Alright. I willingly accept 22 damage to end this fight quicker and save my money. Do you do it again? 8, 16, 24, 32. Combined, they have... If you remove those 9s, they would have 40. They have 58. 8, 16, 24, 32. Chances are we're going to get hurt here. So I could block 5, 10. I can... Let's, let's do the safe thing. I can't just throw my life at these guys willy-nilly. As much as I want to play that, I can't. We still don't want to let them go. They're both trying to escape right now. Excuse me. 
Hold the phone. Yes, like this. Good. And we'll get a little bit of healing. There's a choice of doing that or getting more healing. I think this was the smarter of the two choices. We get our healing, we get our money back, and we survive the fight. X, gonna give it to you. Reinforced body. Yes. A hundred times yes. No, 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 no. A hundred times yes, and then we end up in the fucking Coliseum of all places. Like, why? I hate this event. Mega crit. Delete this. Please. Okay, so again, I can take 27 damage here. We'll heal 10 of that back. There's not a fireplace for a little while. I was thinking. Play the energy potion. Get two more of these, so we'll get... Uh, six. We'll get some massive evocation going on here. It's gonna take a lot of damage. Or get four orbs and then block nine of the incoming damage. Or block a... I guess it would be... 10 of the incoming damage. Um, I think the longer you're in the fight, the worse off you are. Let's do it like this. Good focus damage so far. The ending strikes there did split off a little bit more than I would have liked. Oh, I guess it, you know, sort of the situation from the beginning. And okay, I could pop this, do 13 damage, and then if the lightning strikes that guy... It could get a kill. Very unlikely. So, we're just going to be put down to, like, no HP, I guess. Actually unfortunate. Get the hell out of here. Hey. No. Let me go. Let me go. No combat. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, goody. Uh, getting a curse. Not the worst thing in the world, but... It doesn't really benefit the deck at all. That was even dumber. Okay. If you want to say I'm throwing on that one, I could see it. Again, I'm not throwing. That's just stupid. Stupid of me. It's stupid of the game for giving me some of these events. Thank you, Nunchucks. Okay. Um. Do it to you. Random power is Storm. Block Mania. Oh no. We're so boned. The bone zone, yo, God. Ah. I'm dead. Not a good display today. Two very inadequate runs. If I didn't take the 18 damage there, I would have 18 more, so I would have survived one more turn of this bullshit, but like. What a shitty line of events there. I'll still take the blame for making some of the decisions I did, but yeesh. That will do it for today. Hey, you never know. I might feel like doing another one in the afternoon. I did enjoy doing the extra one yesterday because it was, one, really good. Two, you know, get the numbers up there. Do some more recordings. If you have nothing better to do and you want... this, I do this to feel productive, believe it or not. It's like you're playing games on the internet. It's the fact of, like, managing the every aspect of putting it all together. Definitely is a productive feeling for me and my otherwise very unproductive life outside of work. We don't talk about work here. Anyways, get yourself some lunch. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. Get ready for that weekend here, and I will see you tomorrow or this afternoon for the next one.